Okay guys, good morning or good evening depending on the time that you're watching this video. Um, I just wanted to go over the assignment for uh, Wednesday April the 15th for assignment number 2 where it says converting metric units of capacity. You're supposed to do the practice page uh, 771 9 through 16. Uh, I know that some of you have been having a couple problems with those so let me go ahead and go through the problems you're supposed to do 9 through 16 so let's go ahead and get started with that so uh, on number 9 it says you're supposed to convert 5,000 milliliters into a certain amount of liters but before we go ahead and get started with any of that just remember that you also have to refer to the reference chart right the fifth grade math chart so let me go ahead and show you that really quick and of course I've, I've uh, added a chart on your previous lesson so just go ahead and make sure you get it out or print it out or access it but have it somewhere where you can see it alright we're trying to convert com uh, volume and capac capacity uh, units from one to another and specifically we're looking at the metric units this time right so this is the part of the chart that you want to focus on I'll focus on this one right here and if you can see you see that this one is actually a lot easier because it only has one conversion rule it says that one liter equals 1000 milliliters so either you're going to convert from liters to milliliters or milliliters to liters and remember that if you're converting from the larger unit which is the liters to the smaller unit then you're going to multiply but if you're going to convert the other way around from milliliters to uh, liters which is a larger unit you're going to have to divide okay and that of course would be step uh, one of the steps in our conversion so let me go ahead and get going on the problems now let me go back real quick to your problem for Pearson and I'll try and see if I can zoom because I know that some of the problems you haven't been able to see really well but remember that's why you're supposed to open your Pearson math um, assignments through Google Classroom right so here's the problem number nine says convert 5,000 milliliters to a certain amount of liters. Okay, let me go ahead and write that down. It says to convert 5,000 milliliters to a certain amount of liters. And that would be step number one. Remember, we have a total of five steps to follow through when we can make conversions. And it doesn't matter whether it's conversion of metric units or customary units. Uh, it doesn't matter whether those units involve length or capacity or mass right or it doesn't even time right we, we don't have those problems here but still i mean you you following the five steps will help you to make this a lot easier right so step number one is what ask yourself what am i converting what unit to what number one it says convert 5,000 milliliters to a certain amount of liters okay and step number two what rule or rules will you need to convert the uh, milliliters into liters well in this case we only have one rule remember we looked at that uh, chart we're going to look at uh, the rule that one liter is going to be equal to 1000 milliliters that's the only rule we need for this number three uh, ask yourself are you converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit or the larger I'm sorry the smaller unit to a larger unit or the larger unit to the smaller that's where you need to go to step number one okay well it looks like I'm converting milliliters to liters right so that's converting the smaller unit to the larger unit right so what do we say we do when we convert the smaller unit to the larger unit and we said that we were going to divide so that's step three Step number four, this is where you come up with your plan, right? Your number sentence, your numeric expression. Well, we said that we were going to use the rules in step in, in step one, I'm sorry, the steps in one and two to come up with our numeric expression. So we're going to get, number one, we're going to get the number 5,000. And we're going to divide by the rule or the conversion rule in step two now of course you're not going to divide by one because that wouldn't make any sense would it? right again so we're going to divide by 1000 
So what we're saying here is we're going to divide 5,000 milliliters by 1,000 milliliters to figure out how many liters we would be able to make, right? So in this case, we're going to divide 5,000 by 1,000, which is very easy. If you do the canceling of zeros, you would get your answer would end up being 5 liters. For those of us that don't uh, need a little bit of extra help, you would get again 5,000 and then you would divide it by 1,000. You can, you literally can just go and say, you know what? You can divide all four digits by 1,000 and you would say that it would be five groups of 1,000. That would give you 5,000, right? Or you can go through the uh, quick, easy check the um, um, trick. If you have three extra zeros in your dividend and you have the same number of zeros in your divisor what you can do is you can get rid of them and then of course you can just divide with what's left over so that would be easy you would know that five divided by one gives you five right so there's that problem um, remember if you want to go right back again to the five steps to solve it pause it and go back all right let me go ahead and get started with another problem now I'm going to erase this one and again remember it's always the same steps guys same steps same five steps no matter what some may involve uh, the Z strategy to solve but it still involves using the same five steps okay so let me go ahead and take a look at the other problem uh, and that would mean doing number 10 over here so let me go ahead and move a little bit more to the side and again hopefully you can see that right number 10 says go ahead and convert 45,000 milliliters to a certain amount of liters it's exactly the same thing as number 9 so I'm going to go to number 11 now 11 yeah number 11 you are going to be converting the larger unit to the smaller unit they're saying okay we'll convert 427 liters to a certain amount of liters let me go ahead and get a scratch sheet or a screen so that i can go ahead and start that with you and that's again we were saying that we were going to convert step number one 427 liters to a certain amount of milliliters right so that was step number one what is it that you're trying to convert from what unit to what step number two okay what was the rule that was the conversion rule that we need well in your reference chart it said that you need for every liter you can make up to 1000 milliliters right and that's what makes these problems because they're there's only one rule unlike the others that there were more conversion rules that you have to reference or look at step number three are you converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit or the smaller to the larger in this case we know that liters are larger than milliliters so we're converting from the larger unit to the smaller unit okay so what do we do when we convert the larger unit to the smaller unit well we we multiply right all right step number four go ahead and use the numbers in step one and step two to come up with your numeric expression or your number sentence to solve the problem in this case we're going to get 427 from step one and we're going to multiply that times the number in step two which is 1000 and that should give us the number of milliliters that we can convert 427 milliliters into I'm sorry 427 liters into so step number five we actually do our multiplication I want to work that multiplication right there at the bottom and I'm going to say um, I'm going to put the number with the most digits at the top first 1000 and then I'm going to multiply that times 427 you can apply the trick right in this case uh, if you know how to do it you have three extra zeros in the number 1000 so just go ahead and bring them down and then just multiply whatever is left over by the number at the bottom so it's like saying one times 427 right which would give you a total of or a product of 427 
So technically here your answer is that for every 427 liters you can make 427,000 milliliters. All right. We'll try and solve that problem using multiplication the normal way without using the trick. So we've got again 1,000 times 427. Since we have a, a three-digit factor at the bottom, we can expect to have three partial products when we solve this uh, multiplication right problem. So we're going to multiply. What's 4, 7 times 0? Zero? 0. What's 7 times 0? Zero? 0. 7 times 0 again? 0. And what's 7 times 1? 7. There's a first, first, first partial product. Let me go ahead and get going with these over here. Same thing with 2. Now let's multiply 2 times 0. 0. 2 times 0. 0. 2 times the third 0. 0. And then 2 times 1, which is 2. And by the way, that's a comma. So I'm just going to get rid of it for now. That's our second partial product. Let's go ahead and multiply to get our third partial product. Seven times, I'm sorry, six times, four times zero, zero. Four times zero again is zero. Four times your third zero is zero. And then four times one, which is four. And of course, then you add them all up, right? And, uh, and of course, those of you that like to add your, add your extra zeros there, go ahead and do it. With zero plus zero, what was zero? We got zero on the second column, zero on the third column. Seven plus zero plus zero is seven. And then over here, we have zero plus zero, which is zero. And then, of course, over here, four. Uh, I'm sorry, in this one, let me go back. I'm sorry, this is not a zero. This is supposed to be a two. My mistake. And of course, what's two plus zero? That's two. And then four plus nothing is four. So put your comma where it belongs after the first three digits, and there's your product 427,000, which is the answer that we got on step number five. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, uh, try another problem. Now, in, uh, in all of these problems, you will not have to use the Z strategy because, again, you only have one conversion rule. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters, right? Which is, again, different from the other problems because sometimes you did not have one rule that converted one unit directly into another. So that's where you had to use several rules to convert, all right? But, it, again, in this case, we do not have that problem, right? So let's go ahead and try one more. And again, remember, you have a video, a YouTube video link to this assignment. So go ahead and check it out in case this one is not really helping you much. I hope it is. And um, let's try again. Let's try number... Oh, remember, you also have PhotoMath. PhotoMath is really good. Use that also, right? So I'm looking for something that will be challenging. Let's try number 13. Might as well. It's 37,000 milliliters equals to a certain amount of liters so let me go ahead and get up a screen for you it's uh, step number one again remember how many steps do you need you need five steps so you got we said it was 37,000 milliliters and you're trying to convert it into a certain amount of liters step one is done step number two as usual get that conversion rule the conversion rule says convert one liter into 1,000 milliliters. Step number three. What are you converting? Are you converting the larger unit to the smaller unit or larger to smaller? Well, we know that we're converting milliliters to liters and milliliters are smaller than liters. And by the way, the question again is how do you know that milliliters are smaller than liters? Well, look at your conversion rule. You need a thousand milliliters in order to make just one liter, right? So it's obvious that one liter is greater than a milliliter, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, step number three, we said that we're converting the smaller unit milliliters to the larger unit, which is liters. And of course, when that happens, you divide. Step number four, um, what we need our, num our number sentence or numeric expression. We're going to use the numbers in rule one and step one and step two. To come up with that expression, we're going to say that we're going to get 37,000 milliliters and we're going to divide it by 
1000 milliliters which is the um, number in step number two and that should give us our answer okay and that would be step number five five the answer well i'm going to write it down here i'm going to divide 37,000, which is my dividend and i'm going to divide it by 1000 which is my divisor to get my quotient in other words my answer to division so again you can you can automatically recognize that in your divisor 1000 you have three extra zeros so you can get rid of those if your dividend also has those three extra zeros right so at the end of it all you end up with 37 divided by 1 which ends up giving you a quotient of or an answer of 37 why because we know that 1 times 37 gives you 37 and there is no nothing left behind after you find a difference okay hopefully that helped guys if you have any questions remember zoom me or send me a remind message have a great day